Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this special request RPG Maker MV tutorial, I'm going to help the Derpy Muffin figure out how to replicate a very popular VX Ace thing, uh, where when you find an item, uh, an icon pops up above your head or above the event, instead of just showing the text box, and he says, do you know any chance uh, on VX Ace when you get an item that pops up on top of your head rather than having to use a text box for it, is there any way to do it in MV? and I looked around for a plugin and there is a plugin if you go to uh, RPG Maker Webs uh, I'll put a link in the description below so you can link directly here uh, there's a plugin from Tiny uh, Tiny's pop-up icon MV just wanna right click here on click me and uh, you'll be directed to another page with the Google Drive and just click on download and it'll, it'll let you download that put it in your, your games JS plugins folder and then go into your project and then add that by double clicking anywhere on a free spot and then go to Tiny's, uh, Tiny's, where is it, pop-up icon and then you'll have some parameters to change. So make sure that's on and you're gonna basically disable the auto pop-up. Um, I wanna show you um, what it looks like first and then I'll show you uh, basically how to use the plugin. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward and the plugin uh, parameters you don't have to edit them too much so we've got a couple boxes here and I'm still gonna show the text box because I didn't delete it but you can see the little lesser repel icon popped up lesser repel times two couple little things I've noticed with this plugin by default the automatically finding an item uh, makes it pop up is really cool but you'll have to sit at the beginning of the game it's going to award all of the items that are in your character's uh, starting gear. I just want to show it to you really quickly. So if we look at the starting gear for all my characters, um, we've got iron katana, hard leather armor, leather boots, you know, basic clothing, bronze mace, bone dagger, Lydia's wild armor, all kinds of stuff, right? And I'm only starting the party, I'm only starting the game with one actor. But look what happens when I uh, set this plugin uh, to show automatically. This this uh, right here plugin parameter auto pop up. Now I've set it to on. It'll be on for default. And this is what happens at the beginning. Uh, I'm actually debating on just leaving it on because I like it. I mean I don't like this particular thing, but what here's what what I'm talking about. You see how it just shows all the starting gear that every actor is going to get right at the beginning. Uh, and I don't have these actors in my in my party yet, but I'm still getting the pop-up that I've got all these items. And if I look at my inventory, I don't have these items. I only have the items for Tiana, you know. But it, it does the pop-up at the beginning of the game. It, it could be a little bug in the program, or in, in the plugin. Um, but what's cool about this is you don't have to put in plugin commands for every text box or every time you get an item. You don't have to show that. It'll just automatically pop up. Now in these uh, chests right here, I actually have put the plugin command. So we'll see two icons pop up. You see the icon popped up for above Tiana's head and above the chest. So it's kind of cool to leave it uh, to leave it to do it automatically. If you can put up with that a bunch of items added at the beginning of the game. Now you could even disable the sound uh, from that plugin. This is the plugin command I'm using, but we're going to come back to that. What you could do is start your game off um, with everything is black, and then maybe maybe it won't pop up all those, or maybe while those items are are, are being added to the party, you might have to move the camera. I don't know. There's a way to do it. Uh, to so that the player won't even know all those pop-ups were happening uh, the best thing would get a, a plug-in update but even as is I really like this plug-in so um, if you turn this off then that spam at the beginning won't happen and you can uh, decide if you what sound effect you want to use the volume the pitch and all that and where the the items you know is drawn to its location the size of the text that's drawn I'm actually gonna bump this up a little bit but in the help file, it's really clear and accurate and short and sweet. Basically, you're going to do a plugin command that looks like this. 
It's going to show the pop-up icon that's going to call for the plugin command. You're going to input a character ID, which will be the event that it's occurring on if you put in zero. Or you can put um, uh, whatever number for the event ID. Or you can put negative one for the player. Um, you might want to set them all to negative one or all to zero. Um, in this case, I'm using zero to show the item like right out of the chest. I think that looks pretty good. But right after you do the character ID, you do the icon index, which will be the icon number you want to show. Um, so let's go and look at our icon. How do you know what icon number is? Well, it's really simple. Go to your items and then find the item that you want to, to show. And you'll see the icon number right here. So we have this icon for the, the tonic. If you want this picture to show, you would use this for the icon ID. You could also just go to a blank spot, double click anywhere, and then scroll to find, oh, this is the one. I want to get this blue armor. Well, we can look in the bottom left corner that we have 601. That would be our icon ID. So you can scroll down, just very easily find the icon that you want, and then reference that number 989. Um, so that's how it's easy to figure out um, what icon to use. So let's go back into the plugin help file. So that's our icon index. Uh, after that you show text. The thing about this text, it will only show the first word in the text. So we have an example right here of what the, the plugin command would look like. It'll say pop up icon, and it'll say zero because it's a, that would be occurring on the event, right above the event. 12 would be the icon for a potion. Uh, potion is the, the string, the text for the potion to show. Uh, then we have two, which is the next one which we're going to move on to. Amount. Um, if you put zero, it won't show any amount, and then you could put any number above that. So it's going to show potion x2 times 2. And then the last one is going to be a Boolean value. It's going to be zero or one, true or false. And if it's zero, then it's going to... Um, uh, it's going to ignore it and let you uh, let the icon pop up and while you're still moving around and it won't affect anything. If you put one, it's going to, to stop the character and basically when you like show an animation and you, you click on the wait for finish or, or wait uh, for completion, that's what this basically is, the wait for completion. So one is checking yes, uh, freeze the character while this icon is being displayed. So you can toggle that on or off as a Boolean value. Now back to the text, one thing I did notice, you can only put one word. So how you get around this is you just put an underscore. So you, you might have noticed on the picture that I showed, repel underscore potion. Um, that's the way you can have it show two words or three words, but it's like one large string with no spaces because the plugin uh, look at the next, uh, looks at the next uh, uh, entry in that plugin command as the next value. So we don't want the second set of text to be entered in as an amount. So we just put text, uh, repel underscore potion for text or like boots underscore of underscore sprinting or something like that. And that's what you would do. So I'm going to show you the, I, the plugin command that I have for what you saw in game. This plugin command just says pop up icon. Now pay attention to cap, uh, lowercase and capital letters because JavaScript is very nitpicky when it comes to to, to uh, case sensitivity. So you're going to do capital P on pop, capital U on up, one word, space capital I on icon, and then you put in all the other commands, uh, character ID, uh, item index number, the name you want to pop up, the number of, of how many items you say that you're uh, awarding, and then the wait for completion, true or false at the end. So let's add another one just so you guys can see me make a new one. We're going to do a new treasure chest. And we can use our quick treasure uh, creation. And we're going to pick a random item. We're going to go with a tentacure. Okay, we got a tentacure here. Um, what we're going to do on this one, since it's going to be a pop up, uh, let's go ahead and just get rid of the show text. Okay, so I'm, I know I'm going to have to do a plugin command. So we'll start right there. We're going to go pop up icon. And then what's the next one character ID so where do I want this icon to be displayed well I kind of want it to be right above the the treasure chest the event itself so I'm gonna do zero if I wanted this to show up above the player I would go negative one so we're gonna go zero to be right above the treasure chest the next thing we need is uh, icon icon index but I don't know which one it is for tentacure so I'm gonna close that out go into my database 
I'm gonna go to the Tentacure and see what I put in my my database for number seven Tentacure is right here that would be icon three five eight okay that's good I know that now three five eight sorry about that we're gonna input that number next three five eight um, after the I icon index we're gonna go it's text okay so um, this is gonna say Tentacure and then the amount I'm gonna say um, I think if we put zero it'll it won't show any number so uh, I only got one so I don't need to put times one but I, I could put times one if I want but we're just gonna put zero to ignore the, the X one uh, and then this one I don't want to wait for completion uh, I'm just gonna let the player grab this one no show text no delay and see how much it slows up the game if any so we've got the plugin command we're getting an item with no text no show text at all we've, we've got rid of all of that okay so let's load up the game and let me make sure one thing if I uh, disabled the yeah auto pop-up so we don't get a spam of a bunch of items now if you turn that on I'll show you one more one more thing after this if you turn that on you won't have to do any plug-in commands it'll automatically do that okay so we got our icon it didn't do it seemed didn't seem to do the pop-up uh, icon so I wonder what I did wrong on this one pop-up icon did I do the capitals uh, did I mess mess up on the caps did I do pop-up I oh I spelled pup up <laughs> okay let's try that again pup up I'm going to pup you up all right cool so we could walk around you saw that as I the icon was still being displayed I was able to walk back and forth I kind of like that actually this one uh, we're showing text and also I set the wait for completion the last uh, uh, the last uh, what is it argument of that thing of that plugin command to one so we're forced to wait for that to be completed let's uh, change these around so we're gonna set these to not wait for completion we're gonna get rid of the show text on these because we don't need them now we can see a better a better way of seeing what kind of items we got I really like this plugin and thank you for making that special request All right, let's see if we can grab these items really quickly. All right, that seems like really cool. I like that. You see how fast we got all three of those chests? No delay. We didn't wait for any completion. We saw the icons. Uh, really cool. We could even have it display over the character's head if we wanted to do something like that. Um, I want to show you one more thing, though. I'm going to completely delete all of these plug-in commands. Okay, so now they would just be normal chests, plug-in commands like that. Uh, if we don't want to put in plugin commands, you can get uh, get around it. All you have to do is put up with the beginning auto pop up on. So we've turned that plugin parameter to on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it we're gonna let it do its thing at the beginning and show all these items uh, that we don't actually have. We're not actually getting, but they are going to be given to the player automatically since all of these items that it's saying that it's adding are items that are. Um, that will be added to the character's starting gear. So a way around this is to uh, take all of the, the player's starting gear from all the actors and then just award those items in game when you get the actors. Simple solution right then and there. Nice. So I don't have any plugin commands at all on these chests right now. But we still see that we're getting those potions. And it even looks a little bit better in a sense uh, that it shows no underscore like this is inputting a string as a whole so it's it's uh it's like you're able to use the spaces it's not lesser underscore repel it's lesser repel so i would recommend doing it this way and just taking all the starting gear from the characters and then awarding them in the game itself so there's a way around this really really super cool plugin so thank you tiny for making this plugin um uh th thank you to who was a special request I've got so much stuff going on right now I'm trying to do <laughs> um, you know who you were I mentioned you at the beginning thank you so much for your special request I think it was over here too many tabs too many tabs here we go the derpy muffin thank you so much for your special request um, 
If you have any more special requests, put them in the comments below. Remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you have any more uh, ideas or comments. Uh, thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are super awesome. I'm thinking about starting a course on Udemy on how to build a game from from start for the beginner level all the way to advanced plugins and uh, like a full course from beginning to end. Um, but there'll be like a uh, it's gonna be a paid course, so let me let me know what you guys think about that, because I don't make any money on, on I I make very little money on uh, for AdSense, and I'm trying to figure out a way to pay my bills. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions or things you would like to see or full courses you'd like to see, the idea I have is to do a game from beginning to end, and maybe like you know like a 10 hours of content that's behind a small small paywall, like five, ten, fifteen, twenty dollars, something like that, with discounts and everything. So. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe. We will see you guys in the next tutorial.